Hello and welcome back to GSP Sea Fishing. Now, as you can see in front of me, I have a fork. Yes, a fork. We're doing the fork. I've done a spoon. There's the video up there. The spoon I made into some flatfish attractors. Um, flatfish really react well to um, flashing attractors. So that was done with that. I then done the knife. And you can make knife handles into really effective casting jigs. Um, the diff different types of knives will give you different weights. And that video there is up there again, so check on that one. Now we're doing the fork. Now the fork, oh, it's been a bit of a headache, the fork. Um, this one's not that exciting. But still, you can get a pack of these forks for one pound. So one pound for a pack of forks and with a simple angle grinder there we are angle grinder with the guard on i was reminded about about that and i should have the guard on so there's the guard on my angle grinder um now you can use um a dremel if you've got a dremel it will take a little bit longer or you could do this with a hacksaw and very simply this is nothing attractive but it is quite useful there we are Turn it into a hook remover, disgorger. Now, basically, you can see there, all I've done is taken the outer, the outer uh, spikes of the fork, and I've cut down the middle ones, and I've ground it down so it's not sharp, no sharp edges. And this can be used two ways. You can use that little prodder there. In the middle of that little V notch to get down and get the hook out, push it, turn it. So you can get the hook in there, you can push and turn and get the hook out really well. Or you can use it like a chopstick and you can just wrap it and wrap it and wrap it until the hook pops out. Um, so it's still very handy and all I have done, as I said, got a pen here and I can show you. I have basically cut across there, down to there like so. I've cut across there down to there and then I've cut those probably about 8 to 10 mil from the base and then just smooth off the cuts ground down the edges so it's no sharp bits and there you have it. Very simple, effective and you can get four of these for a pound and also just to add you can see there I have straightened it a little bit the curve does help that is a good curve, but all I have done on these is I've, with your hand, you can just straighten them out a bit. Just to take that little bend that's there out. And then you end up with that instead. Um, and that little bend just helps you get round into the hook and get it done so i hope this has helped we've now completed the set we've done a spoon we've done a knife and we've done a fork so there we are please come back for more videos more hacks more sessions um, anything to do with fishing you'll find it on this channel please subscribe if you haven't and until next time tight lines